Welcome to St. John Newman Church. We're so glad you're here. Today is Pentecost Sunday. Hello and welcome to St. John Newman Parish. You know, this has been a, a great weekend so far um, with the parish picnic for an observation of our 25th anniversary. And now with uh, this wonderful Sunday coming together for Pentecost. If you remember, I think it was now three years ago, Pentecost, that the bishop, the arch, now archbishop, gave us permission to go ahead with our building project. And I, he wanted me to read that letter on Pentecost Sunday. And here we are, three years later, and the building is being erected. So it's great. Great things are happening here. Um, a lot of interesting news. Some of it uh, is good, and some of it uh, hurts a little. But starting off with some of the good news is we're having our, our first... Um, gathering here, a house meeting, they call it, so that we can listen to the parish community, find out what your desires are, what's going well in your life, what at the parish, but also in our community too. We wanna to try to find out what's going on so that we can address issues. So uh, please come um, on Tuesday evening, the 21st at 6.30 p.m. If you have anything that you'd like to voice or that you just wanna maybe listen to others talk It'll be an opportunity uh, in a small group setting to um, share what your thoughts are so that they can be all put together so that we can kind of target and the, mo the ideas or the, the problems or the strategies that have the most interest is what in Concord with Nevadans for the Common Good will look into. So uh, it's going to be a great evening. Please come. Now, on the other kind of unsettling news thing is the archbishop, um, the archdiocese actually, you know, is just the custom at this time of year is when they send out the announcements about uh, clergy reassignments. Father Roy, who has been with us for three years now, he is, um, well, it's good news for him. He's going to be made the administrative, parochial administrator, or basically he's pastoring uh, parish down in Henderson, St. Peter the Apostle. But will we, he, so his last day here will be June the 30th, and then he'll assume those duties down in Henderson on July the 1st. And so um, it's with difficulty that we see him go, with uh, heavy hearts that we see him go because he's such a presence here. But we know it's going to be a good thing for him, and because he's so loved here, we know it's going to be a good thing for the people of St. Peter, the Apostle Parish. So he'll be in charge there and he'll have an assistant, another Trinitarian father, Father Simone. Now, um, we're gonna plan on giving our farewell to him as a parish on the weekend of June the 22nd and 23rd, after, before and after all the masses. So please, uh, if you're not away on vacation or wanna make a point to be able to come and and let Father Roy know how uh, he's touched your lives. Um, with them moving Father Roy away, it doesn't mean they're abandoning us completely. Uh, the Archbishop has assigned another priest here, uh, Father Jonathan Loverita. He comes to us from uh, a diocese. He's currently helping out in Southern Florida, I believe, uh, but he's originally from the Philippines. He's a canon lawyer and he's gonna be coming to our diocese to help us out here at our parish, St. John Newman. But he won't be coming until August the 1st. So we'll look at, for welcoming him sometime in early August. Once again, a lot of things are going on around here. Just remember, uh, as always, change sometimes can be jolting to us or challenging, or we might even find change difficult. But Jesus reminds us that um, change can be good, or it is good oftentimes. We frequently need to be pruned so that we can flourish, so we can have new growth, new life. And it's just as we're going through this change, don't uh, let it get, it, get, get you down, but let us try to look forward with optimism in what's going on here at St. John Newman and in this church in Southern Nevada. I ask that you pray for all the parishes that are going to be affected by these changes. Um, we're not, we're just one parish of 31, I believe, and uh, many of the parishes will have changes this uh, year. 
pray for them that as these changes happen, that they may remain focused on the love that Christ taught us and that they may be able to share that love with the people who are leaving and the people that are coming. God bless you, and I hope you have a wonderful week. We can shine in a cloud, we never hesitate. Let us rise to the clouds. We've got nothing to lose, I know the time is right. Let us light up the fuse. And I know, and I know, and I know, and I know we're perfect, you and I. And I know, and I know, and I don't, and I don't give it up without a fight. What I feel, what I feel, I know it's Thank you to everyone who helped plan and present our 25th anniversary picnic. Big project, great job. Thank you to all who attended, too. Women's Bible Study continues Monday, May 20th at 6.30 p.m. in the Youth Room. The Rosary Makers Ministry Meeting is this Wednesday, May 22nd at 8.45 in Room 117. Join us for fellowship and learn how to create beautiful rosaries. Small Groups meets Thursday, May 23rd in Rooms 123 and 124 at 6 p.m. Want to join us? Sign up at sjnc.org. For all the news on what's happening here at St. John Newman, pick up a bulletin on your way out of Mass today and have a blessed week.